G'day guys, how's it going? Uh, so I was watching a bit of, um, what was it, Teen Wolf last night and then there was a line that I thought was really interesting. It was um, basically that, you know, young ones learn the rules in order to break them or know how to break them in. And the older, more wiser person learns exceptions to the rule. There's different, as I was talking to a friend of mine, there's an interesting take on a lot of different things. Um, sometimes it's just the mindset at which you approach them. Example, um, well, do you miss things or do you overlook things? And people go, but isn't they, aren't they one the same? No, 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 you could you miss things because your mind's preoccupied and that you genuinely don't see something or don't recognise it as important or valid or whatever at the time. And then you can overlook things, which is you see it, you recognise it's important and valid, or you just, and you just, for some reason, just discount it or it's not important to you at the time. Slightly different approaches, but it can mean a world of different some people Whoop. okay <laughs> Had a bit of a, a connection error there um, so some people um, they learn the rules in order to break them rather than follow them uh, rules laws different uh, some people say that they're the same thing, it's slightly different, just such as procedures are different from rules, policies are different from procedures, um, slight differences and variations uh, how it can have a completely different take and effect on a situation. So, do some people learn the rules in order to break them, or do they learn the exceptions to the rule? De definitely different approaches. So what is the difference there? The difference is focusing entirely on what you can do as opposed to what you can't do in life. That's the thing I have these days with making laws to say specifically uh, say you can do something. To me that is highly restrictive and a whole process of big government and micromanagement which leads on to people saying that you can't say that because that's illegal. You can't think that because that's illegal. I'm like going, what do you mean you can't think or say that, particularly if it's your own opinion? Um, and generally, if you don't have a different opinion, you can't challenge what a lot of these people say is, I don't know, the bureaucracy, the big man, the rules, the laws, the establishment, the people that say, you know, that they're all for anti-establishment, they want to tear down the big man and all that sort of stuff, but here's the thing, once you tear down the big man, you become the big man, so then you've actually <laughs> built the engine of your own doom, rather than actually let people have their own thoughts and opinions and make sure that they're able to voice them in a legitimate way. This came about um, a lot with uh, a lot of people, <laughs> ironically enough, that call a lot of people uh, offensive names. They think it's okay because it's the other party that they're calling those names, but when they get called these names, all of a sudden they want to have people charged for hate speech. That's, <laughs> again, focusing on what you can do is what you know what you can't do is what as opposed to what you can do and a lot of people say well what do you mean I said well in general us Aussies view life in a pretty casual way there's rules and laws we follow them and we know what we can and can't do both ways and generally we do whatever we can and whatever we want provided that there is a rule saying that we can't do it. How is that different from saying something that you can do as opposed to what you can't do? Now, if there is a rule of law specifically saying this is what you can do, your brain is not engaging. You're only focused on the can. You don't focus on if it's 
possible to do something else thinking outside the box so while you're focusing only on say two angles the rules and how to break them you're not focusing on how can I do something else that is outside these normal rules some people say oh you mean illegal stuff activities like, no no take example science a lot of people tell people in other a lot of people in science have rules laws um, laws of physics laws of chemistry and it's okay you, you can't deny that they are around however there's always exceptions and the great leaps and bounds that we've found in science are because people have not set, not looked at what they can only do within the confined strictures they have looked for ways around it or ways of hey is it possible to do x y z and if people said no you can't do that because of this I said well how about I discount that or maybe take a little bit of that into account but change it up look at it from a different angle rather than a can or can't do it and if possible so how many people do you know only look at the black and white can or can't how many people do you know actually look for the exceptions the exceptional people the exception of the rule the exceptions how different is their life how can you look at your situation stuff that you've seen before stuff that you've done before stuff that have, has frustrated you before stuff where you've only gone to a certain extent and hit a wall and then you've had to take a step back and go okay this is the way I've done it I keep hitting this wall now what if I focus from that particular goal and shoot slightly to the side what's going to happen then Am I going to get close enough? Am I actually going to hit the target? Was there something that made my vision a bit myopic? That distorted that view? Distorted the path to the target? So, I, that's pretty deep for a Wednesday. For a hump day. Oh my God. I attribute it to the rain. It rained a lot last night. don't know where it came from. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a happy hump day. Love you guys.